Ladies and gentlemen, Oakland Park proudly presents now the 71st running of the S's handicap. For four-year-olds and upward at a mile and a 16th with a guaranteed purse of $350,000. And now presenting the field for the 71st Essex Handicap. Number one is Pellucci Racing, Anthony Cordarolo's Rachel and Christina Ritchie's Dalmore. Anthony Cordarolo is the trainer and the jockey is David Cohen. Number two is Hence, owned by Calumet Farm and trained by Steve Asmussen, the jockey, Mike Smith. Number three is Calumet Farm's Sonneteer. Keith DeSormo is the trainer. The jockey is Richard Aramia. Number four is Rockingham Ranch, Syed Stables, and David Bernson's Nanouche. Robertino Diodoro is the trainer, and the jockey is Orlando Mojica. Number five is Danny Caldwell's Chris and Dave. Federico Villafranco is the trainer, and the jockey is Ramon Vasquez. Number six is Heavy Roller, owned by Carl Moore and trained by Joe Sharp. The jockey is Jose Ortiz. Number seven is Bloom Racing Stables' Snapper Sinclair. Steve Asmussen is the trainer. The jockey is Ricardo Santana, Jr. Number eight is X-Line Border Racing, Gatto Racings, and Garrett Zubach's Giant Expectations. Pete Erton is the trainer. The jockey is Joel Rosario. And completing the field, number nine, Crystal Racing Enterprises and Contreras Stable Incorporated's Rated R Superstar. Sippy Contreras is the trainer, and the jockey is Walter De La Cruz. That's the field for the 71st running of the Essex Handicap. They're at the post. They're off. Perfect start. Dalmore, Chris and Dave, and Nanoush, who's asked for speed. Snapper Sinclair in the center, and these four ensure a lively and contested pace right across the track. Giant Expectations comes away in a beautiful spot in fifth. Then comes Heavy Roller and Sonneteer. Two lengths to Rated R Superstar, and Hence is at the back of the pack as they turn into the backstretch in the 71st Essex Handicap, and Dalmore is the leader. Dalmore slows it down a bit, three quarters to Nanoush. A three wide snapper Sinclair is right there in striking position. Chris and Dave in giant expectations. Fourth and fifth and three and a half lengths off the lead. Heavy Roller is in the pink blinkers. He's got five to make up. Rated R Superstar and Sonneteer alongside each other and seven from the front. And then ten lengths last to Hence. There's a half mile left to run. Dalmore and a closer Nanush. These two are matching strides and Nanush has taken the lead from Dalmore in second. Giant Expectations is moving four wide outside of Snapper Sinclair. Here is Snapper Sinclair and Giant Expectations. Rated R Superstar is all the way up into fourth and he's only a length off the lead and making a four wide rush. Four of them across the track. Snapper Sinclair. Giant Expectations and Rated R Superstar. These three for the final furlong and it is still Rated R Superstar. Giant Expectations and Snapper Sinclair and look at the three of them come to the wider rated R superstar giant expectations battles on at the rail snapper Sinclair rated R superstar snapper Sinclair rated R superstar won the Essex over snapper Sinclair maybe Nanush for third and now returning to the winner's circle the winner of the 71st running of the Essex Handicap Rated R Superstar and jockey Walter De La Cruz. Rated R Superstar is owned by Crystal Racing Enterprises and Contreras Stable Incorporated. Cipriano Contreras is the trainer. Running time, one minute, 42 and three fifths seconds.
in the winner's circle with trainer Cipriana Contreras, who saddled Raider, Raider, rated our superstar to victory at 14 to 1 in this year's Essex. Walter De La Cruz, a great patient ride on him. He loves to be in the back of the pack and just kind of taking that dirt on his face sip. He was a third in the Razorback at 79 to 1. Still a good price today at 14 to 1. A fantastic trip. And now, again, a graded stakes winner. He came up against some bears in this field. Talk me down the lane and just a solid effort today for this superstar. We're kind of holding a finger cross and hoping he make it first of the wire. Uh, had a good trip. He was doing good. And we took a shot at him and kind of worked out. Well, it kind of looks like he could even go the distance of a mile and an eighth. Could we possibly see him in the Oakland Handicap? That's the plan. We'll see. We'll see what happens, you know. Well, that's the plan for Rated R Superstar. We hope to see him, and congratulations as he was victorious in today's Essex.